guys, I'm Faith. I am an author, a mom, and a cancer survivor. And today I'm gonna give you a little life update because I know it's been a little while since I've been making videos. I've just been really busy working full time, taking care of Zach. There's always different events and family obligations on the weekends. So it's just been difficult to find time to keep you guys updated. But I wanted to let you know some sad news. Um, unfortunately, my cat, Pandora, Pandy, if you guys have been watching my videos, you've seen her in a lot of the videos. I'll put together a little montage of my baby. Um, fortunately, she passed away. It was very sad. Um, I had her for over 17 years. So she was a family member to me and I, I miss her very much. Um, so yeah, it's a um, sad way to start the year. And for any of you that out there that have pets, you know, hug them a little tighter tonight because our time with them is limited. And, um, you know, you guys know I've gone through my health issues. So when I was sick, I promised Pandy that I would outlive her. And I did. So I'm happy for that. That I was there for her when she died. I was petting her at the very last moments. So, um... Um, we'll miss her a lot. On to happier news. In happy news, my debut novel, Wild Souls, has been available now for about six months, and it's been getting fabulous reviews. If you go on Goodreads, it now has 108 reviews, most of which are five stars or four stars. Yeah, so I'm just so proud of myself and watching my little book go, go, go. And let me read some of these amazing five-star reviews. I'll show them on the screen as well. And now this review is by Alina Carter. Outstanding. I absolutely love this book. First of all, it's beautifully written. It's a smooth and easy read with realistic dialogue and lovable characters. And the concept is great seeing through people's souls, seeing them for what they really are, is that a blessing or a curse? More like the latter, it seems at first. And I felt so sorry for Ethan when I imagined everything he had to go through while interacting with people. But then comes Jenna and shows, him, shows us that love is a superpower too. She also sees him for what he is, accepts him and loves him unconditionally. And together they can achieve great things. Faith Prince is an incredibly talented writer, and I know for sure that I won't doubt whether to read her next books. If her debut is this perfect, I'm definitely looking forward to reading more. Highly recommend this book. Thank you so much, Elena. So I'm going to read a review by May. Five-star review. This is a YA paranormal romance with amazing character development. Ethan can see the soul of every human he comes into contact with, and it makes him the town pariah. His relationship with Jenna and her support of him helps him to see the good sides of people and his ability. It also helps him learn how to interact with a world that seems so far out of his reach. Beautifully written and a wholly unique concept. I absolutely recommend this. It is good for the soul. Thank you, May. Now, this is from Laura. She wrote, I could not have been happier. I was asked to read this for a review. What I've been doing as a debut indie author, you know, sales weren't going so well because no one heard of me. No one knew my book existed. So what I've been doing is on Instagram, I've been reaching out to people that are part of the Bookstagram community that post on Instagram about books that they enjoy reading. And I've been finding readers that enjoy my genre of book. And I've been DMing them and asking them to review my book and check it out if it's something that interests them. And that strategy has really been working, especially since most of the Bookstagrammers are Kindle Unlimited members, and my book is available on Kindle Unlimited, so they are able to read it for free on Kindle Unlimited, but I get some royalties when they read pages. So it works out for everybody. Okay, this says, this is from Laura, five-star review. 
I could not have been happier I was asked to read this for a review. In short, I will never stop talking about this book. Seriously. Honestly, though, it has a great mix of fantasy and realistic future fiction. I just finished this book and I want to read it again. There are a few fourth wall breaks that fit perfectly into the story. It's high school, but just enough adult themes to really pull you through. The chemistry between the main characters, how they deal with hiccups, and the sincere way they support each other was organic feeling. And the real life approach to dealing with villains has me wanting to really look at the evil in my life. Thank you so much. Another five star review from Anne. Firstly, I need to say a big thank you to Faith Prince for reaching out to me regarding her debut YA paranormal novel, Wild Souls. I went into this story not really knowing what to expect and have been completely delighted by what I read. Within Wild Souls, Ethan, Ethan and Jenna are in high school. Believed to be both a freak and a liar, Ethan is actually neither. But what makes him unique is that he can see people's souls and the nature of the people surrounding him. Jenna is the only one who wants to know him, all thanks to a social media app which let him begin talking to her anonymously. With the rest of the school ostracizing Ethan, only Jenna can break down his defenses thanks to her fascination with the paranormal. But will Ethan ever learn how to defeat his demons? Can Jenna find a way to be okay with her flighty dad? The growing connection between Ethan and Jenna could make or break them. Wild Souls is for anyone who has felt like they don't fit in. If you've ever felt like you're too different, too much, even too quirky, this beautiful tale shows us that there is a place for us. And through Ethan's journey, it's shown again and again that who we are is exactly what the world needs. I love that Faith gives us characters who aren't cookie cutter, as well as those who are courageous enough to be different. The damsel in distress trope is also well and truly overturned in this YA paranormal story. In fact, the first interaction between Jenna and Ethan is when Jenna literally comes to Ethan's rescue. That's not to say Jenna is trouble free because she isn't but it is Ethan who has the turmoil of seeing the darkest souls and Jenna is the one to persuade him to face his demons. Excellent summary. Thank you so much. This is a review from Laura on Goodreads bookish meanderer, five-star review. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful YA story. I love, love, love deep descriptions and the way Prince envisioned souls leaves me breathless. The two main characters experience growth and are written as believable teens. This is a great coming of age tale with invaluable lessons for adults and teens both. Stay true to who you are, stay proud of who you are, and don't let life's bullies dim your soul. It's exactly the message I was going for. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Laura. So yeah, this feels great, amazing, incredible, phenomenal to know that my book is having a positive impact on other people and that they're seeing the message behind my story and that they're enjoying falling in love with Ethan and Jenna and watching them grow and become stronger and more confident people. I am definitely not giving up on my writing career. I know I have a talent. I know I have so many more stories to tell. i hard on my next novel. I hope to release it in the next six months or so. And I'm so excited for what the future is gonna bring with my writing career. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow me, watch me achieve all my dreams, and I'll see you guys next time.